What's up Honda fans? I'm Honda Laura and this is a review on the 2019 Honda Insight LX to let you know what you get when you go for the base model. So let's get Honda pretty much knocked it out of the park with a new redesign at the 2019 Insight. It's fuel efficiency, wow looking good. Let's start off with the exterior features. So at first glance, the new Insight looks just like the new redesigned 2018 Accord and the 10th generation Civic had a baby. It's the cutest thing ever. So you see that big giant black grill in the front and then the flying wing chrome piece um, also up top. So it does, it's so stylish. It's really cool looking and you can kind of see features in both of them. The LX model is going to feature LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. Down along the side, 16 inch alloy wheels. Um, something for me is I like when base models do have alloy wheels because steel wheels with hubcaps are not really something that's aesthetically pleasing for me. So that's always a big plus. And then you do see the hybrid badging throughout. Heated power mirrors, push button start, capless fuel filler. And then you see how they have the chrome all the way around the door windows. So adds a little flair to it. And then around the back side, LED tail lights also and backup camera standard. Now let's take a look under the hood. Under the hood of the 2019 Honda Insight is Honda's third generation two motor hybrid system. It's a 1.5 liter Atkinson cylinder engine which produces 151 horsepower. It has an electric CVT transmission and together they yield 55 city, 49 highway and a combined of 52 Really impressive miles per gallon. When you're in the hybrid game, you're competing against the rough contenders like the Prius. So I think a way to get over on them is with the styling. So let's take a look at the interior features. So behind the wheel of the 2019 Honda inside, it's definitely adorable. So just like the outside, on the inside, they took inspiration from the new 2018 Accord and the 10th generation Civic. So the steering wheel is very modern, updated. It is extremely comfortable and it has a ton of features. The new Insight also features Honda Sensing Standard on the base model. So you see those controls on the steering wheel here as well. The front has the really great display. So it's part digital, part analog. You see your tachometer and then you have a lot of different features on the digital screen here that have the gauges that kind of help you drive efficiently. So they have all these hybrid gauges and they tell you if you're driving efficiently or driving inefficiently. So it's just another way to maximize your fuel economy. So everything is really good looking, pretty aesthetically pleasing. The center console is sort of reminds me of the Civic also because it's everything's right directly in the middle and you have um, the flat push button shifter knobs. Those are really cool. And the basic, uh, I think it's a five inch, five inch uh, audio screen. Yep, that's what it is. But it's actually really equipped with everything that you need. It has FM, AM, radio, AM, FM radio, has USB connections, it has Bluetooth, Bluetooth streaming audio, so everything you need is right there. And then they also have the automatic climate controls. So I really like how they incorporated things in like very high end Acuras and like the Pilot Elites, the top of the line Honda models. They've incorporated some of those things now in the base model like the paddle shifter knobs. So that's something that you would find in like a really nice MDX or the Pilot Elite. Also, push button is also something that's now standard on almost all of the uh, Honda models, which is kind of cool too. I love the center console too. I can't get enough of it. It's a ton. So much. You could fit like three pair of straw sandals in there. Maybe a, you know, water bottle for yoga. Now let's check out the back scene. I sat in the back seat of my Civic the other day and it was actually surprisingly roomy. So I find that this one is actually very roomy as well. The seats are really comfortable. They're pretty deep. So I like them. There's also the uh, 
rear folding seat. There is 97.6 cubic feet of passenger space in the inside, so it's actually very spacious. Now let's check out the trunk space, which is very important on a hybrid. I think Honda learned after the uh, 2015-ish Honda Accord Hybrid came out that people are really obsessed with trunk space. So they made sure that they didn't do that on all their future hybrid models. And they took that battery pack out of there because before the battery used to be all in the way and there was no trunk space. So the Insight now features 15.1 cubic feet of cargo space. You see it is unobstructed and there's the seats that fold down with a pass through. So what else could you ask for? So that was our interior and exterior. And you know it's adorable and it looks good, but you know, the most important thing is the fuel economy. So let's take it out of the road and see how it does. Yeah. So we're driving the new Insight and it's actually very responsive, very quick. It's not sluggish at all. It's not hesitant. I really like it. One thing that I also really like is there's a sport button and paddle shifters. So you just hit the sport button and it makes it just, you know, that much more responsive and fun to drive. So whenever I drive one of Honda's hybrid cars, I like to look at one specific driving monitor. And as I said, there's a few of them that try to help you drive as efficiently as possible because obviously that's the point of getting the hybrid is to maximize your fuel efficiency. So there's a really nice one and it has a few lines and the point is to accelerate and decelerate slowly, um, maximize fuel economy. So the gauge that actually helps you do that, you kind of keep the lines even. And if you accelerate or decelerate quickly, they'll swoosh up or swoosh, swoosh back. So I like to use that one. I think the car is just so cute overall and it's just great styling. It reminds me obviously of my Civic. Um, the seat goes down really low so you can just kind of feel really tucked in and, and cozy. I like it. The 2019 Honda Insight can be all yours for an MSRP of 22,830, which I don't think is fairly bad for something that has awesome fuel economy and such really great important features on a base model.